Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is one of the most common disorders of the central nervous system in adults, afflicting up to 2.5 million people worldwide. The pathological process involves circulating autoaggressive lymphocytes that cross the blood-brain barrier into the central nervous system, which leads to inflammation, tissue damage, and ultimately gliosis. These sites of tissue damage can be visualized as lesions on MRI scans. Sphingosine 1-phosphate, or S1P, is a naturally occurring bioactive sphingolipid that plays a key role in MS-relevant processes, including inflammation and repair. S1P1 receptors are widely expressed on lymphocytes, and these receptors regulate the normal egress of lymphocytes from the lymph nodes. During egress, T lymphocytes migrate across an S1P gradient that exists between lymph nodes and the efferent lymph. During a normal protective immune response, the activation of T cells in the lymph nodes causes an internalization of S1P1 receptors, and this prevents their immediate egress to allow optimal activation and differentiation. At the end of the differentiation process, the T-cells upregulate S1P1 again, and they egress into the efferent lymph and blood to recirculate to peripheral sites. In patients with MS, circulating autoaggressive lymphocytes cross the blood-brain barrier into the central nervous system, where they cause inflammation and tissue damage. The resulting inflammation destroys the myelin sheets that surround the axons and oligodendrocytes are lost in great numbers, leading to demyelination, along with axonal and neuronal loss and gliosis. The central nervous system can repair itself after injury. However, upon repeated inflammatory attacks, these endogenous repair mechanisms become less and less successful because of the inhibitory environment within the lesion sites. Thus, there is some recovery in the early stages of the disease, but following recurrent inflammatory attacks, the repair mechanisms become less effective, and attacks increasingly cause tissue damage and gliosis. Current first-line standard treatments primarily target the inflammatory component of the disease and are partially effective. Novel treatments are needed that can directly target the central nervous system and involve neurodegenerative and repair processes in addition to reducing inflammation. Oral fingolimod is the first molecule in a new class of S1P receptor modulators that is being developed for the treatment of MS. After oral administration, fingolimod is absorbed into the bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, the drug becomes biologically active following endogenous phosphorylation by an enzyme called sphingosine kinase 2. Fingolimod phosphate readily enters lymphoid tissues where it binds and downregulates S1P receptor type 1 on lymphocytes. This process abrogates migratory responses of lymphocytes to S1P and reduces the numbers of cells that egress from lymph nodes back into blood. In multiple sclerosis, fingolimod retains autoaggressive lymphocytes in the lymph nodes, away from blood and the central nervous system where they would otherwise produce inflammation and tissue damage. The retention of blood lymphocytes in the lymph nodes following the administration of oral fingolimod does not represent a significant burden to the lymph nodes because lymphocytes are usually present in high concentrations in the lymphatic system with a comparatively tiny amount in the bloodstream. Oral fingolimod does not affect peripheral effector memory T lymphocytes, as they localize in non-lymphoid tissues without regular recirculation through the lymph nodes. The sparing of effector memory T lymphocytes may be important for immunosurveillance and memory immune responses in the peripheral tissues in patients treated with oral fingolimod. Because fingolimod is highly lipophilic, it crosses the blood-brain barrier into CNS. S1P receptors in the CNS play a critical role in MS pathology and are expressed on neurons, astrocytes and oligodendrocytes.
they mediate several cellular functions that are relevant to multiple sclerosis pathology and may directly impact neuropathological processes such as neurodegeneration and gliosis, as well as endogenous repair mechanisms. Recent evidence suggests that normal S1P production is disturbed in the CNS. Restoration of appropriate S1P receptor signaling in neural cells by fingolimod may cause the observed reduction of astrogliosis, improving communication between CNS cells to allow functional restoration and remyelination. These actions on MS pathogenesis may therefore shift the overall balance in favor of repair and reduced injury to ultimately impact positively clinical outcome and progression of disease.